Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the proper subset. Basically, what a proper subset is, is it's almost like a uh, subset. Just a proper subset must have one more object in the comparing set. So the first set, it must, the second set must have one more object than the first set. It's a lot harder to explain than it is to actually understand. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at this so you guys understand what I'm talking about. A is going to be equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is our first set. B is going to be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. We got two sets. All right, so in the previous tutorial, we looked at is subset. So if we tested these two, it is going to return true because A is a subset of B. All right, one, two, three, and four is found in B, one, two, three, and four, and it could either have equal to or more objects contained in that set, that second set. But with proper, you must have more objects, all right? You can't have equal to, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and say, um, <clears throat> this would pass as well as a proper subset, but if we took a five off the end here and compared these two together using proper subset, we would go ahead and get a false. Now, proper subset does not have a method. There's no proper subset method. The way we compare this is by using the less than symbol. The little alligator pointed that way will allow us to test if it's a proper subset. So let's go ahead and first off, let's just check A is subset, just like we saw in the previous tutorial, and pass B and we get true, correct? All right, so this test out properly. Now let's see if it's a proper subset. We know it's a subset. Now let's see if it's a proper subset. We'll do A uh, less than B. True, because B has one more object. Like I said, they cannot be equal to. And to prove that, we'll do C, and then we'll do uh, another set, one, two, three, and four. All right, just the same as A. And we'll go A is less than C, and we get false, because it needs to have that extra set to be a proper subset. All right, let's go ahead and add one more. We'll do a D is equal to, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and compare if A is a subset of B, and if B is a subset then of C, or D, I'm sorry, we're gonna skip C because C is the same as A. So we're gonna do A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of D and we should get true if it all works out that way. So A is a subset of B and B is a subset of D. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. A less than B less than D. Hit return, hit true. All right, so that is the proper subset in Python. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about something else with sets. See you then.